All right, hey everybody, uh, Mr. G here with a uh, different, uh, a different. It's not. I guess it's a tutorial and it's a gameplay. Um, uh, we've been doing pixel art, and I just remembered one of my fa one of my top ten pixel games. It's called Utopian Mining, and there's very little use of your mouse, so a lot of people don't play it or skip it because of that. But it is a great game. So I'm going to just introduce the game to you. I'm going to click or press X. You can click, but the first time, that's, that's about all the clicking you can do. Um, and I'm going to start with a new slot. So now my mouse, if you notice my arrow out here, if I move it in, it's like it's not doing anything and I can't use it anymore. So now I'm going all keyboard. I'm going to use the arrow keys. And you can see I can select the robot I want. And I press X to choose the robot. So I'm going to choose this first robot. And the game begins. Welcome to Utopia. Press X to continue. So X is like your main button. Okay, before you start playing around, let me tell you a few things. To get money, you will need to mine for ore. So your little robot and that little thing you're holding, the little triangle, is like a little drill. Use the arrow keys to move around and X to interact with things. Okay, you should look for people who need your help. There's a guy called John standing in front of an apartment. Find him and ask for a job. You can get back to the menu by pressing escape. So. That's it for now, good luck. So that's an important thing. If you look at the top, you're gonna to see it says map, inventory, more games, and job. But, and you'll see that some of the letters have an, uh, a parenthesis around them. So like, for example, if I press M for map, I'm gonna see the map. And there's really, you're not seeing a whole lot, but you see this little thing at the very bottom. Um, and that doesn't make sense yet. You see I for inventory, and that shows your inventory. I don't have anything yet. And then you say J for job. That tells you what you're supposed to be doing. So if you're ever not sure, you can press J for job or escape will bring you back to the main menu, and do you really want to exit the game? No. We'll keep it PG here. Okay, so, walking along, and I'm gonna go talk to John. Let's see if I can find him. And then there's all these stores, and if I press X, I can go in there, but right now I don't have anything, so. And right here, this is really important. This is where you save, okay? And I don't know how you figure that out later, but you press X, and it will save, and you can say, allow the flash storage and it saves your progress in the game. That's like super important. It's not an auto-saving game, so um, I know a lot of you are used to that. So I'm gonna see this where it says no hope, and there's this guy, I'm gonna press X. Oh, welcome to Utopia, or what's left of it. The storm nearly destroyed the whole town. This house once was the home of me and some others, but they all left after the storm. Please help me rebuild it. This should attract some people to move here. I need about 250 I think that's pounds. You can think of it as dollars or pounds, whatever you want, whatever currency you use. Um, got your first job, congratulations, press X. Okay, so now press J to check your jobs. Build the apartment. Help rebuild John's apartment by giving him some money. You have 50 of 250 pounds. Okay, so how do I get money? That's a good question, press J again. Press I to check your inventory. And okay, so it's telling me the things I can do press M to open up your map. So it's sort of like showing me those things that I already knew how to do. So I press X again, and now I've got my thing. I might even just go ahead and save real quick. Press X, tree memory just saved my progress, so I don't have to do that again. And guess what, you can press down, and you start drilling. And as you drill, see I just got some ore. I picked up that coal. It's only coal, but hey, soon you'll get more ores of gold and diamond and get rich. Remember, when the shop is open again, you can buy new hardware and mine deeper and faster. So there's some there's some things at the bottom you need to keep track of. There's a heart, which is your health. There's this cool, okay, and hot symbol, which you need to be careful of. And, um, and then we can sell these ores. Um, so I'm gonna just get this coal, and I'm gonna watch my heat meter. And if, as lower you go, the hotter it gets. And you'll also notice you have a battery. And right now I'm at 93%. So, you want to make sure that you don't run out of your battery, but I'm going to just dig across here and try to find any um, coal. There we go, There's some more coal. I'm just going to dig up as much stuff as I can. Now, if you go too low and you get too hot, your robot breaks, and you have to kind of start over again at the top, and you lose things. So I'm just going to collect this coal, and then I'm going to sell the coal at that place that says we buy ore. Okay, my inventory is full which means I can't even get any more if I wanted to. So I need to sell my ores. So I'm gonna do what it says. Press X again. Okay, got it. Get rid of your ores. You can also upgrade your robot later and make your room for more stuff. So I'm gonna press X. 
this is a little tricky, so I want, this is why I want to do a, a tutorial gameplay of the game. Um, right now it says all in, that's 250 pounds. Press X to sell. So if I press X right now, it's going to sell everything with an X mark on it. And um, that's, that's everything. So um, I'm going to just do that. X to sell. Here you can sell your ores. Press one, two, or three to select or unselect the ores you want. Okay, so for example, if I didn't want to sell certain ores, there's like a press number two, that's iron, three is gold, four is wolfram, five is smargar smaragad, smaragd, <laughs> ruby, and diamond. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so I'm just going to leave them all on and press X to sell. I just pressed X to sell. Oh, maybe I sold them all. Okay, there we go. Now, if you look at my money above the cool, okay, hot, I now have 300... I think that's the pound symbol. I think I have 300 pounds. I'm gonna save just to be safe, because better save than sorry. And then I'm gonna go talk to John again. Thank you so much. Oh, look, and then the building has changed. I love the pixel art in this, but it's awesome. So now I'm gonna talk to him again. Bert, it's cold in here. If you could get me some coal, please. So now if I look under jobs, making it cozy and warm, John needs some coals to run the ovens. You have zero of 10 coals. So I'm going to get 10 coals and get it to him. And then you can experiment, find out how to upgrade by going into the shop. There's lots of cool things you can do. Enjoy the game.